It's 2017, and my New Year's resolution is to review more movies for you guys. Danny and I watch a ton of movies. I mean, really, we don't call the show Horror Addicts for nothing. In the past, we only reviewed a small portion of the movies we'd seen. So this year, we're going to try to review most of the movies we watch, starting with the first movie I watched this year, The Harrow. Hi, I'm Gory B. Movie, and I'm a horror addict. So let's talk about The Harrow. It's about a young woman named Ruth that goes to a small Alabama town to learn more about her mother, Grace. Grace was murdered a decade previous, and the story goes that she was beaten to death by her husband, who then shot himself. But Ruth doesn't just want the gory details of her mother's murder. She wants to know who her mother was as a person. So she tracks down a local recluse named Miller that lives in an abandoned slaughterhouse. Miller needs to work as a farmhand for Grace's husband, and Ruth is hoping that he has a story to share about her mother so that she can try to understand the kind of person she was. Well, Miller definitely has a story to tell, and it takes about the entire runtime of the movie before he's finished. From here, the movie goes back and forth, from Ruth and Miller fixing things in the slaughterhouse to Miller's flashbacks of Grace and the secret affair he had with her. Now, I went into this blind, so I had no idea what to expect. The poster for this movie had a meat hook, blood splatter, some creepy eyes, and a tagline with the word terrifying in it, and that was good enough for me. What can I say? It's January and the pickings are slim, and I'm not terribly discerning when it comes to horror. Well, I was duped, because The Hero, my friends, is not a horror movie, despite what Amazon might tell you. I took a peek at the movie's website, and writer-director Kevin Stockland calls the film a southern gothic psychological thriller. For me, it felt more like a drama. Most of the film is flashbacks. Miller goes into the very, very long story of how he got a job working for Grace's husband, and how he got to know her, how they fell in love, and how they began their affair. It's interesting to a degree, but the only real conflict in the movie is Grace's husband. And yeah, the guy is a real dick, but that's about it. I kept hoping a supernatural element would come into the film, like ghosts or something, but nothing really happens until the end. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad film. For an indie feature, this was filmed beautifully, and I liked the score. The performances were all right, and my only real hang-up was their accents. Everyone in the film has these very thick southern drawls. That, to me, seemed a little forced and over the top, but what do I know? I've never been to the South, so maybe that's how they really talk in Alabama. What I do know is horror, and for me, the hero didn't offer enough mystery, scares, or suspense to satisfy. There is a bit of violence in the movie, but it's blood light. I think what it comes down to is that the hero was poorly marketed. Fans of Southern romance and crime dramas might really enjoy this, but if you're looking for horror, I recommend that you skip this one entirely. Well. That's a wrap. Cut. Hey, fellow addicts. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I would love it if you'd leave me a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see us review next. Thanks for watching.